Now here on Sean's View Entertainment, remember to share, subscribe, smash the bell, and turn on all notifications. I have been keeping you in the loop and in the know on any details, major or minor, that might come out on this whole Brock Lesnar, WWE, Vince McMahon, UFC, Universal title situation. A lot of rumors that Paul Heyman will turn on Brock Lesnar. A lot of rumors that Brock Lesnar reportedly told Vince McMahon that he not just doesn't want to just still continue working with the WWE and extend his relationship and partnership with World Wrestling Entertainment, but he also wants to do joint UFC and WWE. And if there's any superstar that, that could do that, it's Brock Lesnar. Then he wouldn't really be regarded as a part-time guy because he would be doing UFC and WWE. I don't know how that would figure out. I don't know how they would do that. I don't know how that would last full term and long term. But Brock Lesnar tells Vince McMahon in that meeting that he wants WWE and UFC. But how much longer can we put up with a part-time champion? Well, I guess a while because the ratings show otherwise. The ratings improve. The ratings go up. People are interested and invested in Brock Lesnar. No matter what you think of the booking, the transitioning, the uh, trajecting, wh whatever it may be, Brock Lesnar is still drawing an audience. He's still drawing the fans. So viewers and subscribers, no matter the demands of Brock Lesnar, and remember here on Sean's View, we keep it prolific, consistent, and dedicated. Lesnar wants Vince McMahon he told him in the meeting, both UFC and WWE, that's what he wants. And if Brock Lesnar keeps getting what he asked for, I guess that's just going to be the theme, and that's just the damn thing. It looks like we're also going to get a mixed tag team match at SummerSlam on the SmackDown side, including Rusev and Lana. And, uh, you know, we're going to see what's going to unravel there with that mixed tag. And we've seen what's happened uh, with Rusev, and we've, we've seen the confliction. We have seen the... Um, apprehension, the doubts, the questions about Aiden English. There's a lot of things. There's a, there's a chapter being written there. Huge news that Randy Orton will go one-on-one -on -one with Jeff Hardy at Hell in a Cell. And once again, there is that remarkable promo by Paul Heyman where he looked absolutely distraught, disgruntled. Didn't look like he slept in a week. And uh, once again, there is a possibility that Heyman turns on Brock Lesnar. But if Brock Lesnar decides to stay in the WWE, well then we will remain to see Brock Lesnar in the WWE. This is the place to be, the brass. Show and view, share and subscribe and refresh my channel multiple times a day so you're always in the know on all rumors, news and headlines in WWE. You just never know. More to come. Stay tuned.